All right, we're going to move back <coughs> onto our agenda now. Um, we're going to visitor statements. Anybody want to speak over here? Just out of curiosity. Thank you. Thanks. Very briefly, good evening. Uh, thank you, board. My name is Chris Roebling. I live in Riverside. I'm here very briefly to touch on a topic up for discussion later on this evening on your agenda, policy 8, colon 90, parent organizations and booster clubs. I was asked by an esteemed member of the community to come back and extend my remarks from your last meeting on April 24th when I spoke about the Riverside Brookfield High School Education Foundation's lack of disclosure on the Secretary of State website. Uh, that was true the night that I said it, and it was true again today when I checked, but this community member pointed out to me that that website has a known history of not disclosing all of the information that is provided to it. And as such, it's not a good example. So I said, all right, I will go to the 990s. Uh, it is an official website, the Secretary of State website. Uh, but they wanted to cite other examples of the RBHSEF's disclosure issues. And so I refer to the IRS 990s for 2004, 5, 8, 9, and 10. I have reread those today, and I'm very happy to forward them to any of you or to anybody else who wants one. Here is what they show. There has been in those uh, 990s that I just uh, recited, no itemization of disbursements, no disclosure of organizational documents, no disclosure of officers, no disclosure of directors, no review of the charity status, which is a term of art in the forms. The documents repeatedly state, quote, no documents are available to the public, period, end quote. That is a quote. In a uh, series of IRS questions that each of these carry, it is established throughout this period with maybe minor tweaks at one point or another that uh, RBHSEF did not disclose its 990s to its leadership before they were filed. It has a no conflict of interest policy uh, on record, at least that's what it says. It has no whistleblower policy. It has no record retention policy. It has no record destruction policy. It does not review records in preparation. It does not submit its records in preparation of its outside its tax forms to qualified outsiders and also it does not audit. Uh, I think unfortunately this shows the very clear and established and ongoing record of non-disclosure to which I referred last time on 24 April and a preference for opacity over transparency. Having seen the draft policy uh, that you will be discussing uh, presumably later on this evening, uh, only this afternoon, I respectfully request that you consider deferring action on that matter for at least another meeting so that uh, that draft can receive due consideration in the community in light of uh, situations such as this. Clearly, RB cannot countenance such an activity that is at odds with the very appropriate steps that have already been taken by Patriots Council and by boosters organizationally. Thank you. Anybody else want to speak on this side? Anybody on this side? We already heard from you, so we don't need to do that. 